I can remember going to the doctor and him saying, I think you're having seizures. And I was like, seizures? Wow, we never guessed that I had seizures. And then I go through driver's ed at 16 and they tell me I can't have a license. And that's very devastating. I've been through numerous doctors and my seizures were hard to control. So they just kept adding medication and adding medication. I finally made it to KU, went in and doc I had Dr. Usall and Dr. Camarada. They talked me into the surgery and I think they were the two best doctors ever. And here I am, seizure free, a year. And I'm so thankful. I really believe it's a misunderstood disorder and that it's not optimally treated a lot of the time. Um, patients often continue to have seizures and don't realize that really the goal in treating them is that they stop having seizures. If medications have not reached that goal, then you can open up uh, for other treatment options. For Roxanne, that was the best treatment um, in her case, but for other people it may be alternate options like the laser or the um, stimulation. Just seeing her be more independent, not having to rely on family and friends and co-workers and stuff to do everything for her, that, to take her around, that it's just, she's just remarkable. That's why we do this, is we want people to feel like they have a quote unquote normal life, you know, and that they can move on and do the things they want to do. And for a lot of people, that's driving. For other people, it may be going back to work. Um, so it's just nice to help people reach their goals.